you don't have to be old to miss the good old days anymore. Fact is, most of us are feeling nostalgic for the past right now, even if it's just the past of a few months ago. Which is one reason why business is booming here at Bonanza's Ices in Oyster Bay. I mean, what is an Italian ice if not nostalgia in a cup? Like beach concerts and shark sightings, summers on Long Island have long been unthinkable without Italian ices. And Italian ices have long been unthinkable without 76-year-old Phil Bonanza, who, like his father before him and his father's father before that, is the island's foremost purveyor of Italian ices. This is um, Phil's grandpa. So that's the push cart? Yes. That's yeah, that's, yeah you can see part of it. That's the umbrella. See the umbrella here? And that's, uh, that's the push cart. That was in Canarsie on uh, 86th Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, they came out to Oyster Bay. So they were on South Street in the 1890s here, and then they got this place in the 1920s. It was like a garage, that's all it was, and like a 12 by 12 foot shack, basically. What he sold was hot dog, soda, and peanuts. And, he, and, the, and the, uh, one flavor, lemon ice, that's it. That's all he sold for years. Yeah. He's a tough boss. Yeah. My job was to bottle sodas. It was all glass bottles, and he had 24 in a wooden box. And if you broke one, he was get really mad. Why? It <laughs> cost a penny. <laughs> <laughs> a whole penny. <laughs> it cost a penny, my God. What he couldn't have possibly known then was that Bonanza's ices would survive and thrive in that shed. After my grandparents, my mother and father ran it. Or that Phil, who started by sweeping the floors when he was five, would be running it almost a hundred years later. Did you know then you were gonna end up doing this? No. I worked for the post office, and then uh, when my parents didn't want to do it anymore, I quit the post office and took over this. Did you ever have any regrets? No. Really? Absolutely not. I love it. To Phil, fell the task of modernizing Bonanza's menu to keep up with changing tastes. Now, where do you do the actual mixing? Here? Right here. In his workshop behind the stand, he creates flavors his grandfather would have frowned upon chocolate Oreo and pink lemonade and dozens of others. Lots of flavors, but something that's, that's something you wouldn't have done in the old days, but now would be popular. Oh, well, it's uh, coconut, Reese's. These are my, my son makes these flavors right now. Lemon remains Bonanza's first and most popular flavor. Phil still uses his grandfather's recipe and still juices the lemons by hand. All the old time uh, customers refuse to have a spoon. They want to squeeze it. It's a paper cup. It's a paper cup. Full circle. It's a, a pleated water cup. That's yeah, yeah. all it is. And I'm going to give you the paper cup. The squeeze cup? Yeah, or would you rather have it with the Wow. Give me that squeeze cup. <laughs> I feel like one of the old timers, and I've never even been here before. These days, he runs the stand with Patricia, his wife of almost 25 years. When did he spring on you the idea of working in the business? Oh, I... Not until... 2012. We had an arrangement. I said if we if we get tired of each other. <laughs> Very romantic. Yeah. I just love the story about how you met and your girlfriend oh, and the blind, blind date. date. What did she tell you about him before? She said. Oh, yeah. she yeah. she did. She said that uh, you know I don't know what if you're gonna like what he does. And I said, is it legal? You know, <laughs> and she said, "Oh yes, yes, he sells hot dogs." I said, "Does he like it?" And she said, "Yes." I said, "Well, that's all that matters to me." Why do you love it? I mean, I'm not I like people. I like I like my job. Uh -huh. I guess that's a rare thing today, huh? <laughs> Indeed, the only people who love bonanzas more than Phil are the thousands of fans of his ices. You know, like, it's woven into the fabric of people's lives. 43 years. Really? 43 years. I mean, my brother lives in Minnesota now, so when he came back to East a year ago, um, you know, we came here. Right, right. Has it changed at all? No, not, a, not much at all. And the, the quality of the ices have not changed at all. After all, some things should never change. Now, more than ever. And how many flavors do you have for sale right now? About 40. 40, yeah. okay. I think your grandfather would be rolling in his uh, 
Yeah. Well, I have to get his permission now. <laughs>